let's go. Let me tell you a story about the other day. Woke up in the morning and I wanted a tray. Sure thing. So I fired up the old PC. Then ran to the fridge and got some string cheese. Shit's good. Got a soda and I'm back at the Mac. About to scan the market, find a plan of attack. Oh crap, what's that I'm seeing on my screen? Candle after candle, all I see is green. I'm like, holy to the moly, better buy some of this. Call my mom on the telly, yeah, we about to be rich. Market buy, all shiz. Down 10%, all good. We going to the moon in a bit, it'll recover. I wonder what color a Lambo I should cop. Whoa, stop. It's sinking like sand. Hold up, mom, one sec. You know something funny? I guess I'm moving back in because I just lost all my money. Uh. All right, we're just going to give you a quick update. Uh, we'll get back into the normal swing of things tomorrow. I just got kind of a new setup. I'm sure you can see I've been working on some things, and each day we're going to get a little bit better. But anyway, uh, we'll start out with the Bitcoin daily chart like I normally do. And I, I was uh, in a Discord last night talking to some guys, and I thought this would be kind of funny to share, but... When everything was basically uh, crashing, of course, Ukraine and the Russia situation was going on and missiles were flying and everything, so stocks were selling off. Uh, I had made a point when this was uh, bouncing right here on this trend line, which was the previous falling wedge that it broke out of. Um, let me get my paintbrush. So we've talked about this the last couple of days, but it broke out of this wedge. And I was just pointing out that it may just be retesting. I put here, uh, question is, is this a retest of support? Uh, and the trend line, because this was the bottom, you know, this was the top of this support zone I mentioned yesterday right here. As I just want, I was just saying, is this a retest of both of those two things or the be beginning of the end? Which, you know, is meant to be a joke. But anyway, um, I just want, I was pointing out that we had this low right back here, you know, and then we put in a higher high. And then what we bounced yesterday was actually a higher low. Uh, than the previous low. So uh, still in the short term, now we're kind of creating this little uh, rising channel potentially. Uh, bounce at the top, now we just bounced at the bottom. We're about halfway up. So just something to keep track of. And now we're over here on the Bitcoin one hour chart. Uh, this was the falling wedge I was previously covering. Um, mentioned that we broke to the upside of that. Uh, as it was retesting, it actually broke back into the pattern, which is a very bearish thing. But this is why we extend trend lines out because believe it or not, it bounced right at the bottom of that trend line and this little support area I have. Now it's back above the wedge again. And even though it's just a wick, the fact that this high right here is higher than this high is still a, still a good thing. Um, I would expect us to pull back now. What we'd like to see is it to bounce, you know, higher than this low. In fact, something really bullish should be right around here at maybe like 36,000, you know, 500, 800 range. Then it could make a potential inverse head and shoulders. You know, this being the left head, or sorry, shoulder. This being the head, right shoulder. Could break above this, you know, obviously that would be great. Now, a big reason why I'm not going to post any long setups today uh, is this chart right here. So Bitcoin dominance, you know, broke out of this wedge, ran all the way up here to this resistance zone, peaked its head above it. Uh, this was during the time that Bitcoin was crashing. Uh, we did get some little relief there with the uh, altcoins as it came back, but it bounced perfectly on this support zone. And now it's back putting an even higher high. So um, from an altcoin perspective, as I cover every day, if Bitcoin dominance is going up, that's bad for altcoins. If it's going down, that's good. Well, clearly this is uh, found higher supports, putting in a higher high. What we'd wait for now is for it to, to find some resistance somewhere, maybe even up here. And then we'll get some altcoin relief, you know, as it uh, retraces. But for the time being, uh, remain cautious. All right, that was just an ultra fast market update uh, on TA with McKay. My name is McKay, and I'll just leave you with a couple of funny outros of when I was trying to set up my camera lighting today and and what you know whatnot. So hopefully you get a chuckle out of those. Either way, we'll catch you tomorrow. If you're liking the content, please remember to like and subscribe. And thank you so much. And when the night is falling, night, I don't know the words, but it's true. You got the music in you. Don't let go. You got a reason to live. Or something like that. <laughs> Two Trend the Park girls go round the outside. Round the outside. Round the outside. Girls. All I really want is girls. And in the morning, it's girls. And in the evening, it's girls. I like the way that they talk. Or it's walk. That's something. It's T-A.